I didn't plan to do a Halloween special episode, but this one could be actually. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Frenchie and today I want to show you how to handle stock footages because when I started, uh, for me it was horrible. So in this video, I'm going to show you my best strategies for you to match your stock footage with your shot footage. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Frenchie underscore city. I'm posting a lot of my daily life. And um, yeah, I'll leave you with the tutorial, guys. Okay, so here we are in our timeline. And uh, as you can see, I've prepared some footage that I already graded before. So it comes from a project that I graded for a music video. And um, I just put random stock footage in the middle. Uh, so then like uh, we can match it together and uh, see what are the best techniques and the best strategies to match this kind of footage inside the timelines. So uh, what I've done is uh, I've taken like some uh, very, but not high quality, but like um, nice quality, nice graded uh, footage and uh, some that are a bit more uh, low quality just like because um, sometimes there's uh, some companies that like would just like uh, choose stock footages not because of the quality of the video but more because it's like telling something like I mean it's uh, helping the video in terms of storytelling so then like uh, yes yeah, sometimes you can have some uh, footage that are uh, low quality so I have my grade and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, in which color space I am so this is uh, the Da Vinci white uh, gamut <coughs> and the output color space uh, the gamma 2.4 uh, so um, you can see that like in my clip level I don't have any CST it's because I created a group uh, so then like my group pre clip is uh, my Sony to my Da Vinci white gamut and uh, my output uh, my output <laughs> my group post clip is DaVinci White Gamut 2 Rec 709 okay I just run you through like uh, the uh, note tree that I've done for this uh, music video it's just like a balance uh, so you know temp uh, temp tint uh, color boost uh, uh, leave game again uh, I've done some texture pop because the label uh, wanted uh, something that is very uh, uh, soft in inside the uh, how you call that the shadows uh, so then like um, vignettes classic the enhancer just for a tiny filmic look and uh, halation just like because uh, this is the kind of look we were going for uh, with like the really lifted shadows and a lot of halation going around so um, in this timeline uh, I showed you I put random uh, stock footage and we're gonna match this stock footage to uh, the timeline we have also what I want to do with you um, is to match this stock footage when we use a film print out of DaVinci Resolve because sometimes it can be very confusing when uh, you start color grading to understand like the gymnastic to uh, enter a color space and uh, output in another color space uh, so um, I want also to show you how to uh, manipulate uh, this kind of uh, Rec 709 footage in uh, with a film print so uh, first we're gonna match with uh, the grade we already done here so um, easy what I want to do is putting in a group all the Rec 709 footage uh, so for this I just select everything and I hold command and select everything and I just right click uh, go to uh, add into a new group and I'm just gonna make a group of Rec 709 so uh, what is nice is uh, I have a group pre clip and I have a group post clip if you are lost um, when I say this I made a video uh, on how to grade faster you can check it out you go uh, to your color space transform and you uh, put your color space transform on the group pre-clip so pre-clip what we're gonna do is going uh, from rec 709 sorry rec 709 input color space rec 709 output 
input gamma. Oh my god. Uh, output color space uh, Da Vinci. <laughs> Sorry. Da Vinci white gamut. And um, output gamma Da Vinci white gamut. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste. Go at the end. And I'm going to paste it. And I'm just going to swap it. So technically, nothing happened. Why uh, we are doing this and not like just uh, taking our Rec 709 footage and just gridding on it? Uh, it's just like because we want everything to go inside the same uh, color space and when you grade to have the same effect on the colors that uh, the um, Sony camera. Because the Sony camera is in the DaVinci White Gamut, uh, then like uh, if you want to grade properly this kind of stock footage you should go to a davinci white gamut because it's going to be easier to match as like the colors when you're going to grade will be interpreted the same way uh, so to grade now we can grade in the middle in the clip level okay so um because everything is interpreted the same way what we can do is actually just copy and paste the grade so uh, I'm just going to uh, middle click this thumbnail and uh, it's going to copy and paste what uh, the grade I had here. So you can see that like we have a start of the grade, but because it's not the same lighting, uh, then like we don't have a hundred percent match, of course, because like um, this lighting is very cold. This lighting originally is very warm. So uh, we're just going to compensate together. Um, I'm just going to uh, go to my temperature and just like raise my temperature. And uh, I think we are pretty good. My tint was quite nice already. Uh, temperature, I can see that like um, my, yeah, my uh, driving scene is a bit darker than this one. So I can just like compare these two. And uh, I'm just gonna tone down and gain my uh, stock footage. So um, I just reduce the gain, I reduce a bit the lift. Um, what else? Uh, I think um, in the balance still, uh, I can go to my gain. So I'm in my gain and I'm gonna just like do um, uh, a bit of warmth in it. So I'm just like moving my um, tiny, my, my middle point here and I'm going to the warm side over here, okay? Uh, you can't really see that much because it's very subtle as changes, but um, we are... Oh, actually I'm in my gamma, oh my god, like I, I, I tell you, I tell you my gain, but like I mean, I'm <laughs> with my gamma, so yeah. Um, yes, uh, follow my follow my video, guys. <laughs> so yeah, no, I was with my gamma all along. Uh, so um, you can just like move your your gamma around, like so the this middle point. I was like, oh yeah, my gain so subtle, you can't tell. <laughs> uh, so no, my gamma. Okay, so now like I think I'm in a pretty nice ballpark. Uh, and if like I just uh, you know play, I think that's okay. I think it's pretty fine. So now like we can just take this image and copy and paste. And ah, I think uh, it's pretty it's pretty uh, well inspired because like technically um, it's it's not the same lighting right but uh, we have a nice warm sky going on so uh, I think we are pretty good actually um, of course if I just like put it here it's gonna be like really really um, really really warm so what I'm gonna do is just like uh, tone down the warmth but uh, I think we are pretty good actually Okay, maybe the tint uh, and I think 
just a bit more warmth actually because I toned down a bit too much <laughs> add a bit more tint because I realized that maybe you know like then like it, it matched a bit more with this um, of course it's not gonna be 100% match because like we already have a graded footage and a low quality one but like it just needs to uh, not be uh, so jarring you know when you watch the video so this uh, is before and this is after I think like we went a long way <laughs> you know? and uh, I haven't done the drone footage actually so we just copy and paste and oh my god like <laughs> It could work actually. It could work if like it was next to this image because then like it's like this kind of um, very um, sunsetty and like almost almost uh, post-apocalyptic sunset. But um, we're just gonna um, tone down this and uh, cold a bit the image, so then it's a bit more believable. Um, I'm just gonna also reduce the tint a bit so then it's a bit more believable and I can go uh, to this kind of uh, scene uh, then like yeah a bit more realistic right so uh, we went from this to this uh, I think it's pretty cool okay so now that we've done our matching uh, just like with the grade that we had what we can do is, um, I'm just gonna uh, remove all the grade. Take, 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 clean up, clean up, reset. I'm gonna remove all the grades we had. And now we just have like the color space transforms on uh, this footage, right? So we want to use a film print out of this footage. And uh, how we're gonna do it is just like very simple. We just are gonna go to uh, our group post clip in each group and uh, we're gonna uh, just like click on your on our cst and output gamma we're going to change to cneon so cneon film log so now like you are going from uh, for this one from the s log 3 to uh, the da vinci y gamut to output it in a rec 709 cneon film log so when i create a node here then i can apply my film look from davinci resolve so then i just go to my lots and uh, i'm going to use my uh, rec 79 lots uh, that are uh, for film so either the kodak 2383 or um, the fuji film uh, 3513 okay so um I to choose I'm just gonna be like okay the 2383 is a bit better because less uh, green in the shadows uh, pretty nice so now like we have all the um, uh, uh, s-log with the 2383 okay and now we we need like to uh, match these footage right uh, because they don't have so it's pretty easy, you just go to the uh, post clip 2. So instead of going from a uh, Rec 709 to a Da Vinci Y gamut to output in Rec 709, same logic, e here in the post clip you output in Cineon. So Cineon film log, okay. You create a node after and you go to your lots and you apply the same, okay. So now we have the same base on this stock footage. Okay, and so then like uh, you can match. Uh, so for, for these ones, I'm just not gonna do a grade, but like I'm just gonna uh, match what I have. And technically it's gonna be uh, the same issue we had um, uh, when we had to match with uh, my grade, just like because uh, this is not the same lighting. so then like it's kind of the same principle so now i'm just like doing temp and tint and uh, i'm just gonna uh, put the gamma move the <laughs> move the color uh, in the gamma <laughs> so then like uh, so then i can have something uh, believable right <laughs> my god <laughs> and so uh yeah i think my gamma is pretty good uh, I'm moving my gain to uh, 
moving my gain uh, my gain yes like this something like this and I think it's kind of believable like yeah I would say like maybe a bit a tiny bit uh, greener so I'm just like uh, pulling out some tint so then like it's doing something like that yeah thank you guys to watch this video um uh it's pretty fun actually to do a, an episode on stock footage because this is something i struggled a lot when i was a beginner because i wasn't putting uh, my footage inside the same color space i was trying like to um, have my footage interpreted uh, for example from uh, s-log to rex09 and after like for my uh, stock footage uh, to just like guess and follow what I've done on the S-Log without using CST. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think with this technique, uh, it will be easier for you. I hope it unlocks something. Have fun grading, stay safe, and I see you next time, guys.